Do you plan on what are you watching the public hearings tomorrow, next week in the House? The public hearings in the I'll House. I'll probably see some, but I'm not going to sit and watch all day. Um, is there I'm any sure counter programming that, that you'll be preparing? Huh? Any counter programming that you'll be preparing next no, week? No, I mean uh, Bill Taylor's testimony, as I understand it, is based on conversations he had with the EU ambassador, not conversations with the president. Mr. Sonderland, what's his name? How you say it? Sonderland. I want to know how he suddenly remembered. He presumed there was a quid pro quo. I find that witnesses, when they change their mind like that, is a highly suspicious event. I'd like to know more about that. Uh, Mr. Volker said there was no quid pro quo. So uh, the president of Ukraine says there's no quid pro quo. So I don't know what to tell you. I will stay out of the primary. I think Jeff Sessions been a, was a great senator, and uh, I'm not going to get involved in uh, Alabama politics. We'll let the people of Alabama uh, deal with that, but Jeff Sessions is a friend, and he was a very good senator, and I'm sure uh, he'll have a lot of support in Alabama. Is it a good idea for him to run President after Trump? everything? Well, that's up to Jeff. I mean, Jeff knows what he's getting into. The campaign's going to be a lot about what President Trump said about Jeff Sessions. I'm sure he's ready to handle that. My point is, I'm going to leave it up to people of Alabama. I just don't want to repeat of nominating somebody from Alabama that can't win the seat. I think Jeff Sessions is a, a fine man uh, for 20 years, was an excellent senator. I think this is a bunch of crap in the House. I let Mueller do his job because I trusted him. I don't trust Adam Schiff to be getting to the truth. I don't trust the process in the House as being fair. If the President wants to call witnesses on his behalf, I hope he'll have a chance to do that in, in the House while the inquiry is going on. It's been done differently in the House than any time in the history of the country. Here's a question. What's your reaction to Senator Sessions jumping in? Will you endorse him? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Jeff Sessions is a friend. I work with him every day up here for 20 years. Uh, he's a man of integrity and, of course, he'll have to run his own race and, and you know, that's up to the people of Alabama, but I believe he'll be a formidable candidate. Senator, Senator have you considered endorsing Jeff Sessions against the jump center? Don't know. Um, I don't know. I, listen, I like Senator Sessions. I didn't get to know him well in the Senate because he immediately became Attorney General. But I, I, I like him very much. Um, agreed with many of the things he did as Attorney General. But I just, I don't know who else is in the race, to be honest with you. I know there's some other Republican candidates. I know Doug. Doug will be the, the uh, Democratic nominee. And I, and I know that the chairman is, says he's going to start holding public hearings, but uh, uh, it's going to be, I think, very difficult. I think the, the, the process is already tainted. And, and, and I honestly don't understand why they chose to do it this way. But if 